In this video, we're going to go over how to create an anchor jump link in Drive Architect. In this demo, I've already created a jump link to show you what I mean. So if we click this text, I have just regular text and a link, it jumps me down to the section I told it to. So to create that in Thrive Architect, what I did is, so here's the little demo link. I've created a link. I had to unlink it accidentally. And I just gave it a link with pound and the name I want it to link to. Bar. Like that. And then I go to the section that I want to jump to. And in the demo that I just showed you, so I've selected this whole background section, this whole thing right there. We scroll down to the styles, the styles and templates section, and we set the ID to be the name minus the hashtag part to, of well, whatever name we just said. So let me completely run you through a more practical example. So let's say we want this show me how button to link all the way down to down here. Let's imagine that this was a pricing table and the checkout fields and all that stuff, right? So let's just imagine that. So I've selected this button, and I'm going to give it the link just like we did with text. I'm just going to give it a link. And let's call it something more reasonable. And by the way, this name could be anything you want. So we're going to rename it something more reasonable. So let's call it by now. And I'm going to save just in case. So now the link is now pound by now. So we're not putting a, a link like HTTPS. No, 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 none of that stuff. Just pound by now or start or whatever name words you want. No spaces, by the way, just plain old regular words. We're using by now. I'm going to copy that. Uh, where's my copy? There it is. Copy. If, then I'm going to scroll down to the section or element I want it to jump down to. And by the way, because the Thrive Architect is made pretty well, it has the styles and templates for pretty much every single piece. So we can link it to almost anything. And by the way, it doesn't have to be down on the page. It could be I could link this thing to jump all the way back up here. So let's say I wanted to link to this big background section over here. So all I'm going to do is scroll down. So I'm going to select that background section. As you can see, it's you know, we selected it right over here. Then go to Styles and Templates. And for the ID, we enter the name we put previously on the button. In that case, we had the name by now. So all I'm going to do is click Save. And let's go to that little page on the front end. So here's our page. Let's click Show Me Now. And boom, it jumps us down to that section like we had. And that's it. You just go over it again. We select whatever piece of content we want. We give it a link. The link is pound, blah, 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 whatever name we want. We copy that. And then we name whatever section item element in Thrive Architect. We give that uh, element in this super quick version. And just paste it right in there for the ID. Save. That's it. Thanks for watching.